Look at this picture. As of the time I'm posting linked right here on this video, it had 35,000 shares and over 5,000 comments from my Facebook page. It is a picture of Smokey Nuffle, a talented preacher singer. And his 16 year old son laying asleep on his chest. I had different responses from people. Uh, I'd like to read some of these comments that you people gave me to see what people think about this. Um, I just want to take a few of those negative comments before we go to the positive ones um, for you to realize that there's a lot of work to be done. C.A. Cabo says, Hell nah. Even the dad looked uncomfortable. At his age, he'd be trying to get some pussy, doing some push-ups, playing sports, but anything else but this. Why would anybody want to normalize this shit? Y'all crazy as fuck. Another person says, at 16-year-old bra, cut the cord, my guy. I can understand hugs and kisses from dad, but laying on top of him and taking a nap at 16, hmm. Alexandra Nicole says that these men commenting are the same ones who will get upset at the world when they try to be emotional and get called weak or other horrible things. It's because of y'all. <clears throat> That's why I'm, I'm African, guys. This y'all, y'all thing. Y'all are setting the standard right now for emotionally underdeveloped men. Nothing is wrong with this at all. Break that cycle. Khalifa Midi says, Seems like the women, women mostly agree with this. No, I see men in the comments, real men agreeing with this. Um, My sons know I love them, but we respect each other's boundaries. Men, even boys, should have no reason touching one another in any form other than sports and a handshake man my dad loved me and no way in hell he was letting me climb on him and lay down at 16 years old man it's just certain things you don't do it's sad blakely hood says most of the people that see something wrong with this didn't have a father figure and shows nothing gay or sexual about having about giving your father or father figure a hug and leaning on him for comfort. Shit, I wish I could have given mine one last hug. But Elizabeth says, these comments are the most toxic shit I've ever read. This is why we need to normalize affection and healthy emotion. Um, okay, so let's quickly go to my Instagram platform, which is my favorite place to be because a lot of people that follow me on there almost share the same values that I do. And um, they are primarily people from the voice community okay so so the first person says the brooklyn i think this is normal anyone saying otherwise <laughs> you should go to my facebook page od abe says we need to put an end to toxic masculinity is doing more harm than good um romeo uh, romeo i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong you said you said that my son is 18 and i still allow him to hug me and sleep on my chest if and when he wants to kudos dad so when i went to twitter twitter uh, I, I saw crickets on twitter and after this conversation <sighs> i did not realize how personally affected i was concerning toxic masculinity until i did this episode here the video you're seeing where i broke down on um, a very a particular episode I was more concerned about what people would think about me rather than the message that was coming across. Will it be a stab to my masculinity? And yes, the things that I thought about came to light um, when you receive messages such as, oh, you cried, oh, oh, that was not masculine enough, or, you know, all those kind of messages. And as compared to how heartbreaking the story was and how much we needed to support the lady, the very first comment that people would pass is, oh, you cried on that episode without any comment whatsoever on the story and how life-threatening it was. This shows how broken our society really is. So the voice community shared this video to make people know that sometimes when be men become abusers, when men become aggressive and violent, it's simply because they are not allowed to be themselves. It's simply because they've held back their emotions, something that they could have just expressed and gone free. Society has created us to become whom we are. 
and in as much as that is not an excuse it is important for every man to know that it's okay to be human it is okay to be vulnerable it's okay to express yourself it is okay to tell another human being another man how great and awesome he is it's okay to become a place of comfort for other men for other human beings just because you are a human being so if you like this video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our youtube channel and also comment we'd love to hear from you in the comment section until next time keep being the voice for the voiceless bye bye